It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 23rd of January. I'm James Spann. A very windy day today on the backside of an amazingly deep surface low east of the state as that big storm lifts out and we turn cooler. Let's go in there and talk about it. This is the uh, rather remarkable water vapor satellite view. Very impressive, dynamic upper trough with the axis now east of the state. You can see it clearly in the water vapor satellite imagery, and that big line of severe storms is sweeping off the coast. And, of course, that system brought uh, so many severe storms to the southeastern states over the weekend. The death toll, uh, I think, for the entire area is now over 30. But the most significant tornadoes and loss of life coming at Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and Albany, Georgia over the past three days. The surface low is down to 988 millibars. You rarely see pressure that low inland. In fact, uh, I think a lot of the stations are going to set new record barometric pressure lows with this feature. And note the tight gradient on the west side of this. Uh, that means it's going to be a very windy day today uh, with uh, winds gusting to 40 miles an hour, maybe even higher on the ridges. Radar early this morning, that was taken at 4.05. You can see a few little patches of light rain and drizzle across the central part of the state, and we'll see that uh, at times mainly this morning and mainly over east Alabama. All 67 Alabama counties under a wind advisory. Advisories also cover Georgia, Florida, and some of the adjacent states. And out west, more winter storm warnings for California and Nevada and Utah and the mountains. And also some winter weather issues up in the northeastern states as well. But, hey, for the first time in a while, no severe weather expected around the nation today. You know, we had that high risk yesterday, very rare for parts of the southeast. But today, no severe weather expected. In fact, things are looking pretty quiet for a while. And I think we could all use a break. This is the rain for the next seven days, not much. But that's okay. We've had plenty here. And Certainly going to help the drought conditions. We'll get the new drought monitor Thursday morning of this week. But rain amounts for the state should be under one half inch through Monday morning. And uh, most of the days will be dry. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the uh, 06C run, valid today at noon. Deep upper trough lifting away. 991 millibar surface low over the Carolinas at midday. And again, very strong north winds and maybe some lingering light rain or drizzle for the eastern counties of the state. And yes, we'll be cooler with highs back in the 50s today, where we should be for January. Tomorrow is sunny day. The high will be around 60. We start the day in the 30s. Little feature comes in here late Wednesday and Wednesday night. That will probably bring some light rain, but nothing heavy at all. Uh, clouds will increase uh, Wednesday and again say the chance of rain late in the day, Wednesday night, and then Thursday, that feature is on by. Uh, the high Wednesday will be in the low 60s, but we drop into the uh, low and mid 50s on Thursday. And you can see a chance of snow flurries north of here through parts of uh, Kentucky, Ohio, West Virginia. Friday, cool and dry. Friday morning, we should be below freezing. Upper 20s and low 30s. The high Friday, around 50 degrees. And for the weekend, cool and dry. Uh, this is Saturday. The high will be 53. Now, Sunday, uh, looks like a little reinforcing surge of colder air drops in here. Highs could drop in the 40s. In fact, the latest GFS showing a high of only 45 in Birmingham on Sunday. And a week from today, troughing to the east. Again, we're cool and dry. We start the day in the 20s. The high will most likely be in the 40s if this verifies. You can see the anomalies. Temperatures well below average here for Monday the 30th. This is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday of next week, first day of February. Again, troughing over the northeast United States. That looks very chilly and dry. Temperatures pretty far below average if this verifies. So uh, we're getting into a cooler, stable air mass in coming days. Severe weather, not a problem for a while. But for the winter fans, no sign of any winter, winter weather mischief. Just looks basically dry. These are numbers coming off the European Ensemble. You can see a number of days highs slipping in the 40s, low 50s, and lows below freezing many mornings. Uh, much closer to average, in fact, below average on many days for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Notes in the blog. Traveling today, so one video today back to the two-a-day schedule. Tomorrow, Megan Thomas will be in for me tonight on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Watch if you can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.